we're going to so we're going to create a neural network using deeplearn.js. So the first thing you do is go to the deeplearn.js web page. Next, scroll down to the model builder demo and click on it. And we are going to select a custom model. This model starts at blank. Um, the input image is 28 by 28 pixels um, with one channel, grayscale. Um, the output is going to use this softmax cross entropy loss. Um, and we're going to pick, some, pick the maximum value as the label. So the first thing we want to do, uh, because we're going to use just a fully connected network, is um, flatten this to just be a list of 284 numbers. So you click on this block and then click Add Layer, um, click select Flatten, and you'll see the input is 28 by 28 by 1, and the output is 784 numbers, just a vector um, for each image. Next, we want to multiply by a matrix. So in machine language speak, that's a fully connected layer. Um, we don't want to go straight to the 10 labels. Uh, we first want a hidden layer. So we're going to add 200 um, hidden units. So uh, the matrix will be 784 rows by 200 columns. Um, and now, again, we've pretty much got an invalid um, neural network, as it says over here. Um, so um, we also want a non-linearity. Remember, this is just a linear algebra matrix multiplication. So clicking over here, add layer. We want to select the rectified linear unit. Now we've got a non-linearity. The input and output sizes are exactly the same. So it operates element by element. Um, now we want to do another fully connected layer from those 200 hidden units to the 10 labels. Um, so before we do that, we've obviously got an invalid layer because the outputs of this are not the same compatible size with the inputs of this. So click over here, click Add Layer, and um, this time it automatically fills in everything we need. So it's 200 rows down, 10 across, and um, everything else is already in place. Next, we hit the Train button. And we get the train stats. We see the loss is quite high in the beginning, but rapidly dropping as the gradient descent um, finds better and better values for all the entries in this matrix. So there's about 160,000 entries over there and about another 2,000 over here. And um, the accuracy started really low, but very rapidly gets over 80%. We'll let this go. It's um, trained about 10,000 examples, but there's 65,000 examples. We won't even need to feed all 65,000 through. Um, every few thousand or hundred examples trained, um, it actually shows you some results over here. So you can see a 1 is correctly ranked as the highest probability. Um, so overall, it's already doing pretty well. Um, right up here in the 90s already. You can let this run a little bit longer, and it gets it gets pretty good scores over 95 um, but um, yeah with in just a few minutes we've trained over about half the data set all of this is running in my browser using WebGL so it's running on my GPU which gives it a big performance boost um, you could switch it to CPU mode I don't recommend that because what I found is the browser just pretty much freezes so at that point I hit stop um, what it does over here is it keeps on feeding new models through the in, through the trained model as it is, so you can see how well it um, it does inference, and you'll see it's actually doing really well over here. And finally, um, you can download the model and save it somewhere on your disk, and later on come back and upload it and pick up where you left off.